The four types of volcanoes. Volcanoes are some of the most incredibly spectacular formations in nature. And if you ever get to see an active one, well, consider yourself lucky. Or maybe unlucky. Only time can tell. Volcanoes are ruptures in the Earth's crust that allow hot molten lava, ash, and gases to escape from below the surface. Did you know that not all volcanoes are created equal? Here are the four principal types of volcanoes and how they're formed. Number one, cinder cones. This volcano is shaped, well, like a cone. It is the simplest and most common of volcano types. They're built from blobs of lava spewing out from a single hole or vent. The gas-filled lava shoots far up into the air. The lava breaks apart and falls around the sides as cinders. This can build and build for years, creating the cinder cone. Cinder cone volcanoes are often topped with craters in the shape of a bowl. Number two, composite volcanoes. Some of the world's greatest mountains are actually composite volcanoes. Think Mount Shasta in California, Mount Hood in Oregon, Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier in Washington, or maybe even most famously, Mount Fuji in Japan. Composite volcanoes have a network or conduit of vents which eject lava, cinder, and ash out of the sides, which pile on top of one another, creating viscous or sticky rock. This type of volcano is known for its violent eruptions. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD completely destroyed the ancient city of Pompeii. Did you know there are composite volcanoes on Mars? Number three, shield volcanoes. A shield volcano is a shallow, broad volcano. It's called a shield volcano because the shape resembles a warrior's shield lying on the ground. Like the cinder cone, this volcano is formed from lava erupting from the main vent. But why is the shape so different? Well, shield volcanoes eject a kind of lava called basaltic lava, which is very, very, very hot and low on gas and silica content. So the lava flows much more freely because it is not viscous and travels further distances before cooling off and hardening. This creates a much longer, gentler, and shallow slope. Number four, lava domes. This volcano is formed when smaller blobs of very viscous and sticky lava cannot flow very far and pile on top of themselves, creating a big, hot blob around the vent. And when the outer surface cools and becomes hard, it shatters and spills down the sides. Lava domes can oftentimes be found inside of the crater or along the sides or flanks of much larger volcanoes. While these volcanoes may be prone to explosive and violent eruptions, the lava usually doesn't travel very far. There you have a quick rundown of the four principal types of volcanoes. But just really quickly, did you know that most of the Earth's volcanoes are underwater? Well, now you do. 75% of all active and dormant volcanoes on Earth can be found in the Ring of Fire, which is a 25,000 mile stretch in the Pacific Ocean. We hope you enjoyed the video and hit the like button and subscribe if you'd be so kind. Let us know in the comments what kind of subject you'd like to see next on Supermind. And until next time, stay curious.